Kristen, thank you. Hurricane Michael heading out to sea right now, but its wrath is going to be felt for a very long time. The storm is now responsible for at least 11 deaths in states all across its path. The panhandle, of course, getting the worst of the storm. Homes basically obliterated, others knocked right off their foundations. The storm packing nearly 155 mile per hour winds, but much of the damage caused by the massive blasts of water. And this video showing buildings were no match for this horrific storm. This Florida boat dock crushed like a tin can in Panama City Beach, one of the areas hit hardest by the storm. And meantime, rescues underway following Hurricane Michael. The Coast Guard dropping in to help save a Panama City woman surrounded by floodwaters. That woman was airlifted up and is expected to be okay. We're going to head out live right now to the news station's Daryl Nail. He is live in the panhandle where the worst of the devastation happened. Daryl? Yeah, search and rescue teams are going to begin this morning to look in an area hardest hit by Hurricane Michael. We're talking about Mexico Beach, Port St. Joe, and areas around it. And they will go door to door marking those homes, whether or not there's somebody there, a survivor, or unfortunately, a recovery. That is all beginning today, two days after Hurricane Michael devastated this area. Take a look at some video. This is in the area of Port St. Joe, where Hurricane Michael, the surge here was over 10 feet, blasting into homes and blasting out of them after whipping around the furniture, like uh, spinning around like a washing machine and then blowing it out of the house, one resident there told me. Some of the homes blasted off their foundations and floated across the highway. I spoke to one woman who it took her 15 hours to get from Tallahassee to this area. And when she arrived and saw her home, she was just simply in a state of shock. I'm sorry. I just, it's, it's hard. I didn't know. You know, it's, it's all surreal. Now, 120 men and women from the Central Florida Urban Search and Rescue are here. These are folks from our area, Seminole County Fire Department, Orange County, and Orlando Fire, all here conducting these searches for survivors or a recovery of bodies of those who may have stayed behind. Areas just simply have not been searched yet. I'm told by the team that is here that the local governments simply haven't had the manpower to get it done yet. Live in Apalachicola, Daryl Nail, Fox 35 News. And unfortunately, that one lady you talked to, Daryl, there are going to be thousands of stories just like that one. And take a look at this incredible footage of the storm that you have got to see. Cameras rolling as a roof is ripped right off this building in Bay County. And a similar scene closer to home. The storm bringing gusts of wind so strong, it ripped the roof right off a Daytona Beach hotel. People say they simply could not believe their eyes, but luckily, no one was hurt. And we do invite you to stay with us right here on Fox 35 for complete coverage of Hurricane Michael. For the very latest anytime, head on over to our website, fox35orlando.com. And of course, you can follow us on Facebook as well. And developing this morning,